Shut my eyes, trying not to speak. Pretend that I'm dreaming. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. Going under. One step away till you hear what I'm saying. Sounds like thunder. And the clouds are closing in. You see, I know this, but the last days in real life I've noticed. Losing focus, breaking up from our life as we know it. If someone had told me that I Hey guys, so it is Sunday, November 10th, I think, and I am at the Panera in North Charleston, and I am going to meet some friends here to write, and I am excited, but at the same time, I am way behind. So we're getting close to being halfway through the month, and I am only at a little over 2,000 words for NaNo. But here's the thing, you know, everybody has a writing process that works for you and my writing process I have realized over the course of the last you know decade of writing is that I have to work more on the plot at the beginning I have to know every detail of every scene and even though it's gonna change as I write I need to have that figured out and so I do a lot of walking I do a lot of journaling I do a lot of um, plotting and stuff like that before I get a lot of the writing done now I had this book plotted out I had you know 40,000 words I've talked about this before Ooh, what happened to my focus here sorry I went out of focus there for a second um, I had a lot of this worked out before but took a break and now I'm back to it and it's actually going to end up for the better because I realized some things that need to happen in this book and then this week even though I haven't gotten any words done or many words done I had a huge breakthrough on the plot so I feel like I'm going to spend the next couple hours here with friends at Panera mostly working on the final pieces of the outline that I'm hoping are going to come together and then I'm going to like speed write so I'm also going to Great Wolf Lodge this week with my family to meet some friends so I know I'm going to miss some writing time there but I'm still believing that I can totally hit this 50k so if you're a writer out there and you're watching nano vlogs and stuff and you're trying to figure out your process and you're behind just keep working on your story don't give up because maybe you're like me I tend to be somebody who works a ton on the plot and the story up front and then once it clicks and comes together the writing just flows really fast so you know trust yourself trust your process and if you're still learning your process just keep going don't give up all right let's go in and get some writing done I shut my eyes trying not to speak pretend that I'm dreaming I smell your breath not listening but I still hear you screaming Step away till you hear what I'm saying. Sounds like thunder. And the clouds are closing in. You see, I know this, but the last days in real life I've noticed. Losing focus, breaking up from our life as we know it. If someone had told me that I ended up writing about 1200 words tonight plus I did a ton of like brainstorming and stuff like that so I'm feeling you know pretty good about it it's definitely I'm not 
anywhere on target yet but like i said i know i can catch up because i tend to be sort of a binge writer when it comes to um you know once the story comes together so i'm not giving up but i also got a box before i left so i am going to open that now so i know it's a box of books that i ordered when um, I had my nine year celebration anniversary because I've got some giveaways that are happening. Oh, there it's a little bit brighter. So I'm going to open those up. Okay, so here's the box. It's marked heavy. That's how I knew what it was. And these actually got here a lot faster than I expected because I've heard a lot of people saying that the books are coming you know taking a long time to get here from amazon yay beautiful demons i ordered 10 of these because i'm giving i have two that are going into giveaways is that focusing i have two that are going into giveaways but also i'm going to be doing more giveaways so here is the paperback book here's what the side looks like let me pull this over it says beautiful demons sarah cannon and then here it says book one so you've got the house on the back and the regular cover that you guys are all used to. So I've got a lot of books in here, so let me go through them. All right, hopefully this is okay for an angle. Sorry about the lighting, it gets dark in my office. So I've got the Beautiful Demons books, and like I said, I've got 10 of those, so a ton of these. I need to find a place that I can kind of Put them up because this office is so full and i don't really have bookcases which is like ah somebody who doesn't have bookcases i have actually two bookcases in my closet it's a walk-in closet but they're completely full so i either need to clear off space in there or figure out a place to put them in here a lot of my books believe it or not are actually in the kitchen because it's the place we have the most space is in the kitchen which i know is crazy but all of that like top cabinet area has nothing in it. So I started putting books in there. So these may end up in there too. So I have Triton's Curse, which is part of the Willow Harbor series. And one of the books that I don't have in paperback yet, I made it kind of a point to get a lot more of my paperbacks done this year because it just was never a priority to do paperbacks unless I was doing like a book signing or specifically giveaways. So um, I'm making it a priority because I know a lot of people have been asking for them, but I don't have the second book of mine in this series, which is called Witch's Mark, um, but I'm going to have my cover artist work on that. So this is uh, Triton's Curse, which was book four of the willow harbor series that i did with some other authors so i've got a couple of those let's see what else we got here oh so this is deep dark secrets which is the first book in my spirit walkers trilogy and here's what the back of that one looks like and the side so this will be a trilogy and i will be working on the next two books in this series the next one is called deep dark whispers um, that book will hopefully be out in the spring right after book 10, Vengeful Darkness. So I'm finishing Fate Surrender now. Then I've got Vengeful Darkness book 10, which I just got a cover proof back from my cover artist. And I'm so excited about that one. And then I've got, um, the last two of this trilogy will be coming out. So I've got two of those. So then I have season one of Sacrifice Me, which... Here's, that's the front. This is one of the thicker books that I have because this one's about 126,000 words, one of my longer because it was told as a serial, which means there are six episodes, kind of like a TV series. And here's what the back looks like, which I think is really cool. I love that crow in the back. So super love this cover and like i said compared to like beautiful demons for example you can see how much thicker the book is than beautiful demons so these are going to be all out of order because they're just whatever way they packaged these so we have bitter demons which is book three of the uh shadow demon saga so it's kind of a similar back to this one which is cool you can get those crows tied in there so I've got that one. Then we also have Emerald Darkness, which is book seven of the series. And again, we have the house on the back. Then we've got, I think this is Rival. So we've got Rival Demons, book five. 
Now I have not yet added the paperback links to my website, but I know many of you have been asking about that. So this is again, that and another Bitter Demons. I ordered at least two of every book. So um, I am actually tasking my husband with adding all of these links to my website, but basically they're available on Amazon and they're available at barnesandnoble.com, most of them. And so what you have to do sometimes to find it is just go to the ebook and then change the format. So it'll say ebook or Kindle format, and then you change it to paperback and there you've got the paperback. So Beyond the Darkness, which is book nine of the series. And here's what the back of that one looks like. Some of these I've never even ordered before for myself, so I'm just seeing them for the first time. It's going to be cool to have the whole set. So then we've got Deceiving Darkness, which this one is one of my favorite covers of the whole series, and I think that it's because of the blue and purples in this one. There's the ship on the back. Again, we're getting into slightly thicker books because as the series gets later, the books get longer. Then Demons Forever too. This is actually the longest book in the series. This one's over 115,000 words. And originally, if you've been around for a while, this was the last book of the Peachful High Demon series. And then I was going to start a different series with Leah as the main protagonist. But I ended up combining the series and making it the Shadow Demon Saga. So... Demons Forever is the longest book so far in the series. The final book of the series, um, book 12, will actually end up probably being the longest of all of them once it's all said and done. Shadow Demons, book four. So these are, like I said, totally out of order. Book four of the series, so there's two of those. Book two, Inner Demons with the back, which is kind of like a ritual room look. I'm laying these all out on the floor behind me. So another one of Inner Demons. We should be almost done. I probably will line these all up in order to once they're all out of here. Oh, so here we go. Here's book eight, Forgotten Darkness, which is so cool. Like, I don't want to do any spoilers necessarily, but Harper um, on the cover of this one is in a special place which you guys know where she is if you've read these but i did not even tell my cover artist anything about it except like a basic idea of the story and you can see these like um papers flying around and there actually is a scene in the book where harper makes these pages fly around and my cover artist didn't even know that and yet she still put it on the front and when i saw it i got chills because we are just that much in sync with each other i was like oh she gets me she gets me so we should be almost done with all of these. So Forgotten Darkness again. Then we have another Demons Forever. Okay, so here's the last two. So Sacrifice Me, season two, part one. So season two is split into two parts. So this is uh, episodes one through three. So I have two copies of that. And one of the only books, actually the only book that's actually a novel in the Shadow Demon Saga world that I don't have in paperback is part two of Sacrifice Me season two. And I was fighting with Amazon to get both of these published, but of course the day after I made this order, they approved it. So I'll have to make another order for that book. So the final book in this box is A Demon's Wrath, which is Jackson's book that comes in between books six and seven of the shadow demon saga so this is kind of a view of the shadow world and the king city so yay a whole box of books with the shadow demon saga um in the kitchen cabinets i do have a full copy set of copies of the older cover but now we actually have the current covers which is awesome um so I'm super excited about this. Now I'm going to put them all in order so we can look at them and they can be all pretty for us. <laughs> so here is the series in order. All laid out. Excuse my carpet that probably needs to be swept 
but when you have a tiny little baby at home, some things kind of fall by the wayside if you're gonna get any work done. I'm so happy to see all these paperbacks. If you guys are um, wanting to know the official reading order for the series, it is up on my website, so I will link that for you. I don't have um, After Midnight is not in paperback either, which is just a novella, but I am hoping to get that one into paperback as well. Um, I also never did like an updated cover for that because since it's a novella and it's kind of a cheaper book, changing and paying, you know, four or $500 to have a brand new cover for that hasn't really made a ton of sense. So it still has kind of the older cover on it, but I do absolutely love these updated covers that Raven did. I do still have a lot of nostalgia for these like these aren't the original original covers the original covers were never made into paperback but these were the ones that were on the series for years and a lot of people discovered the series with these covers so i have a lot of love for these covers but it is also really nice to see all of the paperback covers done with the new you know newer covers that were done by raven and i'm so so excited because I've had the cover for the final book in the series actually for over a year, but I originally thought there would only be 11 books. And then as the story expanded, I realized it's gonna be 12 books. So I needed one more cover. So Vengeful Darkness is kind of a book that I added in to the series. And so Raven's been working on that and I just got a mock-up or a first draft of that cover and it should be ready soon. And so as soon as I'm done writing Fate Surrender, I'm gonna be working on that. So if you've been wondering about paperbacks for Death's Awakening and Sorrow's Gift, those are coming, but I don't think I'll ever do paperbacks in the current covers. And there's a complicated reason behind that and I won't go into it, but um, I am getting new covers made for that series by the same cover artist that did all of the Demon series. She's gonna be working on those and I don't know if I'll have those new covers by the time Fate Surrender is finished or not. So we'll have to wait and see. So um, once those new covers are on the books, then I'll have them done in paperback. But for now, we've got this. Another exciting thing is I don't have the Fairhope series here either, but I do have those in my kitchen cabinets, believe it or not, with the current covers. But I'm working with um, the cover artist, Najla, who did these covers for Willow Harbor. She is working on doing a new set of covers for the, uh, for the Fair Hope series. So those new covers will be out at the beginning of the year too. So lots of fun stuff happening with covers and there'll be all new paperbacks that go with those. If you didn't know, there's also the first three books in that series are in audio, so you can pick those up. But I'm excited to have these. I will probably be doing another Beautiful Demons paperback giveaway before the end of the year for um, maybe like a holiday giveaway. But the exciting thing will be that next year, probably towards the summer, we're gonna be doing a Shadow Demon Saga read along for 14 whole weeks before that final book in the Shadow Demon Saga comes out. And I'm gonna be doing lots of giveaways, including giveaways that are for all the paperbacks, for posters and all kinds of stuff. So. Stay tuned for that, but I'm gonna end this vlog here because I hear the baby upstairs crying. She must have just woken up, so I'm gonna go hang out with her. Thank you for hanging out with me when I was doing my writing today. Like I said, that puts me somewhere around 3,400 words so far for Nano. Now, according to the chart of getting 50,000 words done, I'm supposed to be like 16,000 words into the book by now, so I am behind. But if you're a writer and you're watching this, just know that sometimes, like I said earlier, your process is gonna be different from everyone else's. And I have realized that I'm a binge writer. Like once the story comes together, I write really, really fast. So I'm not giving up on myself by saying, oh, I haven't hit this daily word count because I'm not as good about hitting a specific daily consistent word count as I am at just continuing to chip away on my story, continuing to work on it and think about it. My husband and I go for a lot of walks where we talk about this kind of stuff, like what's going on with my story, how things are going, how's it gonna end, what happens at the midpoint, you know, all of that stuff. And once it finally clicks for me, the writing goes really fast. So I'm hoping to show you guys an example of that as we get closer to the end of this month. So there will be some more vlogs going up. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy seeing these like weekly vlogs and um, let me know if you guys are excited about seeing the paperbacks. I wanna hear all your thoughts. <laughs> all right guys, I will see you in my next video soon. Bye. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. One step away till you hear what I'm saying.
And the clouds are closing in You see, I know this But the last days in real life I've noticed